Hey, everybody, Ann here. Yep, I'm still kind of boohooing over the seed dump thing, but I'll get over it because you know what? I got good people on my channel, and you said things down in my comment section on the community post that just made me, it made my heart swell. It did. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep on keeping on and um, listen for the whispers. Anyhow, yeah, I, I cleaned off this table. <laughs> I've just been going on a cleaning frenzy. And, um, well, I installed the new composting toilet. I've got my beautiful new Viva composting toilet, portable toilet, however you want to use it, back in this little corner here. And I've discovered, see that down there? That is a cheapo one-gallon bucket that I got for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. It fits perfectly on these ridges. And you just put the, the little uh, handle down, throw some bulk material in there, do your business, throw some more bulk material on top of that, and then you can close it up. And the lid fits perfectly over the top of it, and you can still close it nice and solid and close the top. I wasn't able to use the uh, little toilet paper holder because I needed to get it right up against this wall, but this, this is gonna work great, you guys. So you may be wondering what happened to the wooden antique composting, you know, like the little uh, cabinet looking thing that I had back in there that I found in the antique store and I was just so jazzed about it. Well, one thing about wood is that um, it's harder to clean. And um, I noticed when I lift the lid up, uh, I lift the thing that goes over the actual bucket, um, mold would appear and it's hard to get that off. And this new plastic composting toilet is going to be much easier to keep clean. And I also wanted to get different buckets for it. And that's why I'm so jazzed that the $1.25 Dollar Tree buckets are, you know, compatible with this unit. Because I need to have multiple buckets. Because I, I like to fill them up, take them outside, cover them up. Um, they're black, so they're going to attract the heat. I will let them sit in the buckets and you know, basically compost for as long as possible, months if possible, and um, let the sun and the heat do the bacterial breakdown that is essential, and uh, before I even put it on the compost heap, and that's just been working really great for me, so I'm glad that those uh, one or two gallon buckets, I'm not sure, fit in there. And the lid is essential too during certain times of the year. Uh, the noceums <laughs> fly around and they get in there and they they cause a ruckus and, and I don't like it. You know, getting up in the middle of the night, you lift up the lid and you... I don't even want to go on with that. Anyhow, I went ahead and filled up these pots. Yeah, I put that barrier there so hopefully the puppies won't get up in there and... Maybe Papa won't uh, like hike his leg up, you know, and try and pee on my plants. But, uh, you know, I'll just have to watch. So I planted some Italian parsley here, some basil, some summer savory, and some dill here, and some dill here, and all the way down there. The seeds are from, well, uh, Mary Gives Thanks gave me some dill seeds. A while ago and then I grew deal last year and I saved their seeds so hopefully I'll get a bunch of a deal um, yeah these do kind of wilt a little bit during the hot parts of the day but um, I think they'll be okay yeah the oregano does just fine in the Sun so that's my little herb garden these are old seeds you know I'm not gonna get disappointed if they don't sprout if they don't I'll just put something else in there Check this out. This monstrosity has gotten only more monstrous. Yesterday, I just put a bunch of my used plastic from the porch up over here 
and a couple shower curtains that I already had and I just kind of put it up just because I wanted to see if I had enough plastic and it turns out that I did have enough plastic so this is all pretty thin but it's just a test this is only a test to see how hot it gets in here and when the sun was shining on it it was up to 90 degrees so I'm gonna go look in there and see what the temperature is right now Look at that, it's 82. So I put some buckets in here. They're all black. Um, and so they're gonna, you know, absorb more heat. And I put some of the, you know, trashed seeds that I'm not sure if they, they're gonna grow or not. I just put them out here. I'm still gonna give them a chance. And uh, I'll water them every once in a while. But it right now is really hot in here. So, all I have to do is uh, just to open up that part, bring the flap up, bring it up over here as well, give it some ventilation when the sun's beating down on it, because even if it's only 50 degrees outside, in here it's about 90 degrees. So, um, it works, and uh, I am definitely going to use this as a greenhouse for now. But uh, I need to get some more plastic on it. Um, Seth and Selena broke down the plastic that they had put on the outside of their chicken run to keep their chickens warm. And there are a whole bunch of these kind of thick shower curtains. And I am going to use them to kind of bolster this because the plastic is already kind of, you know, I mean, there's holes in it and stuff. Um, and I want to retain the heat overnight, not necessarily during the day, but uh, my next little thing I'm going to do is utilize those to line this a little bit better. I got some really great neighbors. Selena texted me yesterday and sent me a picture and she said, you want these? And I said, yeah, they're solar little LED lights. And the light is very, very gentle. It just very gently flickers. So I bring them out here and uh, let them charge up. Overnight, I bring one inside the tiny house as a kind of night light, and it lasts all night long. But they gave me, they gave me four of them. <laughs> so yeah, these are very, very cool. I love them. Another thing that's been kind of like stressing me out is the main flock has not been laying eggs at all. The new flock with Fabio, they lay me eggs every single day. So I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, am I going to have to start culling chickens? Because I can't afford to feed chickens that aren't going to lay me eggs. And I'm thinking, oh gosh, but they're all just so sweet. Well, yesterday I went into their coop and I started looking around. And there is a space between the nesting box and the wall um, that I had not been checking. So I reached my hand down in there and there were eggs. They, I mean, it's just a, like a tiny spot and it's just like dirty back in there. And I started pulling out eggs. I pulled out probably two dozen eggs that they had been laying and just hoarding in there. Um, and it's just in a nasty spot. I, I didn't want them to lay there. So I pulled out all of the eggs and uh, I blocked off that section now so they can't go back in there. So, um, and the eggs were just really, really dirty. So I just basically cracked them open and fed them back to them. Um, but they're laying eggs. They're laying big, beautiful eggs. And so I don't need to worry about that situation anymore you know i was thinking oh my gosh is my fermented feed not good enough for them well clearly it is because there were like two dozen eggs back in there so um we'll see i mean once hens get used to laying in a certain spot and if you change that they may take a couple days to readjust and lay somewhere else but um, at least I know that my chickens are healthy. They're laying me tons of eggs. So I know I don't need to worry about that anymore. Anyhow, it's a beautiful day. Today I, I got some laundry done. Um, and I've been in a cleanup mode. Um, just removing garbage and, 
you know, I am probably going to pack that van full of garbage and then just call somebody to come haul the whole thing up, lock, stock, and barrel. Um, because I'm tired of the junk that's piled up here, there, and everywhere. And I'm tired of looking at it. So, anyhow, uh, you know what? That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.